I'm Miss Kathy from Flamingo Gardens. I hope you are all feeling fantastic today because it's a fabulous day at Flamingo Gardens to go exploring. Even though Flamingo Gardens is closed due to the coronavirus, we're here for you each day with our daily series of Explore Outdoors While Stuck Indoors, A to Z learning geared toward pre-K to second grade. Each day we're exploring Flamingo Gardens in search of animals, plants, and trees that begin with the letter of the day. Today's letter is the letter F. Some of my favorite words begin with the letter F. Family, friends, and flamingos. Flamingos have feathers, beautiful pink feathers, and a group of flamingos is called a flamboyance. Isn't that a fun word? Say it with me, flamboyance. Can everybody do their best flamingo pose? Do you know why flamingos stand on one leg? Let's go find out. Hey guys, welcome back. This is Laura Wyatt from Flamingo Gardens. Today, we're gonna talk about one of the most fabulous animals we have here. And of course, that's our flamingos. Flamingo Gardens is home to three different species of flamingos. We have the American flamingo, which are the darker coral colored. We have the greater African flamingo, and we also have one called the Chilean flamingo. There are actually six species of flamingos that live in this world. The other three are the Andean, James, and, hello James, speaking of James, and also the lesser flamingo from Africa. Now, flamingos are really cool birds. They have this hooked beak that helps them feed. What flamingos like to eat are crustaceans, um, small shrimp, mosquitoes, minnows, all kinds of things that we can find in the water. Now, flamingos are pink because of the food that they eat. Since the food that they eat eats algae, the flamingos turn pink in color because of beta carotene, similar to something you'll find in carrots. Now, when flamingos are born, believe it or not, they're white, but then they turn gray, and then eventually they turn into the beautiful pink color you see here at about three to four years of age. Now, the flamingo also has a very long neck and is often thought and genetically related to geese. If you notice, James here, bop, 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 bop. he sounds just like a silly goose, right? So he also has 22 vertebrae in his neck and these beautiful long legs. These legs, in some regions, flamingos live in very hot alkaline waters that for you and me, if we stuck our hand in the water, it would burn our skin off. But since they have these very, almost scale-like legs, that will protect the flamingo. Flamingos not only live in really hot environments, but they also live in really cold ones too. Flamingos are very diverse animals and live all over the world. Now the flamingo's legs, if you take a look, when we think of a bird, we think that they have, their knees would be this part of them right here. But what it actually is, that is their ankle. That's why when you see a flamingo stand, its leg is actually going backwards. The reason why is because they do that to help balance themselves, to give rest to one leg or the other, and they also do it to regulate their body temperature. If a flamingo is cold and it wants to put its foot up and get warm, it can bring it up to its body and heat its legs. Similar to like when we're sleeping in bed and we get hot, we want to put a leg under the covers or we want to stick a leg outside of the covers. Now flamingos also have webbed feet and baby flamingos, when they're born, can swim from the very, very first day of birth. Flamingo babies are only born one to each parent. So every flamingo only has one baby. These babies all make individual noises. So the parents know when the tens of thousands of baby flamingos, they can actually distinguish what voice is their baby. Finally, we're gonna take a look at the size difference of the flamingo. James here, he's a male, he's big and he's tall. 
whereas Aruba over here is very short. James is a male, tall is male, short is female. So that's how we can tell who is the boy and who is the girl. F is for flower. The flower is a part of a plant or tree. They're also called the bloom or the blossom of the plant. The petals of the flower can be bright and colorful. Some have a beautiful scent. Flowers come in all different shapes, sizes, and colors. Inside the flower are seeds and parts that make nectar and pollen. Different flowers attract different types of pollinators like birds and insects. Do you remember when we saw the different types of pollinators the other day? Butterflies and bees? Let's look at some other flowers. This is Coreopsis. This is our state wildflower. Here we have a giant sunflower. Look how tall it is. You can also see that there's all these tiny buds on it that are just waiting to open so that we can see the beautiful flower. And if you look into the center of the sunflower here, all of these are tiny seeds. You might see some bees flying around the sunflower too. Let's go and find some other flowers around the gardens. Come on! This is the Pseudobombex ellipticum, or the shaving brush tree. The flowers look like the little shaving brushes that your grandfather or great-grandfather would have used to put his shaving cream on his face. Now these flowers only come out, only bloom in March and April. They're only up for a few weeks and we see the flowers when there are no leaves on the tree. Did you notice that the tree has no leaves right now, just the beautiful pink flowers? Here's the flower of the Chanel plant. It looks a lot different than the other flowers we've seen. It's fuzzy and red and kind of looks like a cattail. And look at the flowers of the sweet almond bush and how tiny they are. They also have a beautiful scent. I hope you enjoyed looking for all the different animals and plants that began with the letter F. We had a flamboyance of flamingos who have feathers and different kinds of flowers throughout the garden. Flamboyance, flamingos, feathers, flowers, all words that begin with the letter F. Another word that begins with the letter F, fun. Fun with our feline friends. We craft with cats. Today, we are going to make a little flamingo bag. Ask your mom or dad or another adult who's with you to go to our website, flamingogardens.org, and click on Education. You can get the instructions and the template there. You're also going to need some glue, scissors, crayons, and a little bag. Now you might need to cut the top of the bag off a little bit so that your flamingos will fit on it perfectly. There's going to be two templates, a front and a back. So make sure you print up both of them. I printed mine up on pink paper, but you can use regular white paper and just color in your flamingos pink. You're going to, after you've colored it in, you're gonna cut along the line of both the front and the back flamingo. You're gonna cut out the body and then also the head. Then take the head for the back flamingo and glue the face right on the head. And then for the front flamingo, do the same thing, glue on the face. And you're gonna take your bag and find out where the bottom is. And you're going to glue from the bottom up to the top your one flamingo for the front. And 
And then hi twin. Are you gonna help us glue? And then on the back, glue on the other flamingo. Remember, start all the way at the bottom and then go up to the top. Make sure that head is glued into place. Those are going to be your handles of your little bag. And after you have glued the flamingo to the front and the back, you have your little flamingo bag. And you can start filling your bag with all sorts of different things that you find. I hope you enjoyed Explore Outdoors while stuck indoors and searching for all the different words that start with the letter F today. If there's any animals or plants that you saw that we didn't mention, please let us know. Also, please share any of the crafts that you've made so we can see what you're doing at home. You can visit us at flamingogardens.org and click on the Education tab, or visit us at Facebook, YouTube, or Instagram at Flamingo Gardens. Join us tomorrow when we explore all the different animals and plants that begin with the letter G. Have a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.